hello good good morning today i will talk about equator and prime meridian what is the equator an equator is basically the zero degree latitude an equator of a rotating spheroid is its zero circle of latitude it is the imaginary line on the spheroid surface the equidistant from its poles dividing it into northern dividing it into northern and southern hemispheres in other words it is the intersection of the spheroid surface with the plane perpendicular to the axis of rotation and midway between its poles on earth the equator is about 40075 kilometers long of which 78.7% lies across water and 21.3% over land indonesia is the country having the longest equatorial line which lay across the water and the land the latitude of the earth's equator is definition is by definition 0 degrees of arc the equator is one of the five notable circles of latitudes on earth the other four are the two polar circles the arctic circle and the antarctic circle and the two tropical circles pertaining to the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn the equator is the only line of latitude which is also a great circle that is one whose plane passes through the center of the globe the plane of earth's equator when projected outwards to the celestial sphere defines the celestial equator locations on the equator experience the quickest sunrises and sunsets because the sun moves nearly perpendicular to the horizon for most of the year the length of daylight sunrise to sunset is almost constant throughout the year it is about 14 minutes longer than night time due to atmospheric refraction and the fact that sunrise is begun or sunset is ended as the upper edge not the center of the sun's disk crosses the horizon on the other hand the prime meridian is a meridian or a line of longitude in a geographic coordinate system at which longitude is defined to be 0 degree together a prime meridian and its anti meridian the anti meridian means the 180th meridian in a 360 degree system form a great circle this great circle divides the sphere example earth into two hemispheres namely the eastern hemisphere and a western hemisphere as highlighted above the prime meridian and the international dateline which both of which lie diametrically opposite to one another actually forms the um, actually forms the great circle which divides the sphere the prime meridian is a meridian in a geographic coordinate system at which longitude is defined to be 0 degree longitude if one uses directions of east and west from a defined prime meridian then they can be called the eastern hemisphere and also as the western hemisphere finally we can conclude by stating that the equator or the zero degree latitude divides the earth into the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere the equator runs from runs through the center of the earth from east to west or west to east another latitude which is located 23 and half degrees north of the equator is called as the tropic of cancer and the one which is located 23 and half degree south of the equator is called as the tropic of capricorn and the region and the region from the equator up to each of the tropics or in between those latitudinal areas the latitudinal degrees are called as the tropical areas the prime meridian also known as the zero degree longitude is assumed to pass through the greenwich observatory near london and therefore the time on it is called as the greenwich mean time and is used to be the basis time or the base time based upon which the time at other locations of the world place or region are assessed determined and calculated thank you